This video will go through the shortcut method to solve for the pH for any weak base. This question is what is the pH of a 0.10 mole per liter ammonia solution? The first thing we have to do is identify that ammonia is in fact a weak base. We're going to need the KB for this base, but the data table only has KAs. So we're going to have to realize what the conjugate acid is for this base. So we need to add an H plus to our base, which gives us ammonium. So we're going to have to look up the Ka for ammonium and convert it into the Kb for this question. So the Kb is going to equal Kw divided by the Ka of the conjugate. So we're always going to get the same format for solving these weak base equations. So to save doing an ice table, we need to realize that the concentration of hydroxide is going to equal the square root of the initial concentration of our base times the Kb, which is Kw divided by Ka. Now this assumption assumes that Kb is small, is less than 1 1,000th. 1, if it is not, you'd have to use the quadratic formula to solve this type of question. And in Alberta Chemistry 30, you will never have to use the quadratic formula to solve a test or diploma question. So plugging in our values for this question, the initial concentration is 0.10 moles per liter. Ka is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. That is in your data booklet. You look up the Ka for ammonium, NH4, and that is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. And what I've done is a lot faster than setting up an equation, a nice table, putting x in, and solving for it. You'll end up at this same point. So our concentration of hydroxide is 0 0.001336 moles per liter. I do have some extra digits. From this, I can't jump right to the answer. I can't get to pH right away, but I can get to pOH by taking the negative log of this hydroxide concentration. And that is going to give us a pH, pOH, sorry, of 2.87. Now I put two decimal places in our original information that we use from our question and our data booklet. All have two significant figures. And when you calculate a pH or a pOH, that translates into two decimal places from a minimum of two sig figs. So last, we can solve for our pH, take 14 minus our pOH, and we get a pH of 11.13. The last thing you should always check is that the pH for the, a base is above 7, and it is, so a good sign we've done this question correctly.